Hello, good morning traders. How are we all doing today? Uh, if you could let me know, sound level is good. Any echoes today? You can use the hashtag advanced traders text channel. Great. Okay, so uh, welcome to the, the live advanced webinar here at Bookmap. Uh, today we're joined by JTrader. We do this every Wednesday around 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, now the, the, the sharp traders amongst you will have noticed something a little bit different this week. Uh, Bruce is away on holiday, probably is currently sipping cocktails in the Caribbean somewhere. So uh, my name is Sam and I'll be uh, assisting JTrader today. Uh, Bruce fans, don't worry, he'll be back next week, fully refreshed, uh, probably with a nice tan. So you can read more about uh, Joseph Joseph's trading career here on his website, jtrader.co, and connect with him on uh, on Twitter and YouTube, jtrader.co. I've just got some disclosures to quickly read, so bear with me before we start. So the general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. And the risk disclosure. Trading futures, equities and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Okay, with that done, uh, Joseph, I believe you're here already. Yeah, how, how, how I'm are ready you doing to today? You all right? Yes, thank you, buddy. Uh, glad to have you here today. So I will start the screen. Uh, let me see the screen over here. Yep, I'll, I'll, I'll let you take it away. We're, we're actually your distant neighbors, Joseph. I'm, I'm down in Malta at the moment. You, are you in San Marino? Yes, where are you in Malta? Just near Valletta, uh, just south Berlin. Ah, okay. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a very nice place. Is it warm by you then? Yeah, no, the sun is out today. Yes, it's uh, the sun yeah, is shining. It's a, nice place. it's a history place. It's a history place. Yeah, for sure. Plenty of history here. Yeah, beautiful place. Uh, so, can you see my, my monitor, Sam? Yes, I see you. Okay, perfect. So, good morning, everybody. If you um, see the monitor, just put over here a yes. If you see it, good. All right, so the market is unwinding this morning. And uh, I, I say right away what I traded. I posted before, OSDK and DO. And uh, I had a plan over here to wait, first of all, for a direction, yes, and NQ. Yes, we simply started to dump, right? So don't look at all you see over here, but focus more only traders on the, on the red bars over here and uh, on this uh, aqua band, right? So you can see that the aqua band shifted below these uh, two other bands over here, the magenta, the yellow, and it's the bar, these bars are red and it's simply fading, 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 okay? So yes, the main guy. Personally, I didn't take trades, as I said, on the big caps today, only I traded OSTK. I considered that the mid cap, uh, Nvidia faded, but only around 9.45, 9.50, uh, we had uh, Apple, so Apple also unwinded. Uh, we had Netflix, so all the tech stocks faded, right? The one that faded the most is Tesla. So look over here at Tesla. This is, first of all, what the market is doing on Tesla. We're still above this main support, has low the support around 7.92. And uh, on the long term, you can see that the, the stock is still up trending, right? So this is really the moment, the next weeks will be the moment that I believe we decide the market direction. Is Tesla going to go up or down in NVIDIA, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Google? Everything depends from the overall market. And right now we have really Bitcoin that even if it's not a tech stock, we, because we're talking about a different technology and we're talking about a 
uh, a cryptocurrency, right, is moving very close to how Tesla and other tech coins, uh, other tech stocks, sorry, are doing. So this morning, I'm looking over here for a possible short on Tesla. I'm not looking for any kind of uh, dip buy. The support over here, you can see 796 is basically this uh, over here. This major level of support, and then you can see they reclaimed the 800, so a whole round of number. So I will look for more Jalen rejection as a spot over here to short. Or if you're looking to scalp, there was a lot of there were a lot of opportunities over here to trade, you know, with the bear flag. So over here, and then we had over here, and you can simply ride this down all the way. Again, don't short traders because I see a lot of traders trying to short too early or they short too late. You have to have a perfect timing. In the meantime, INDO is pushing. And this is a small cap. We're talking about 1.5 million market cap. And I'm looking to short this. So I'm looking for a short around 8.20, 8.30. This is a stock that I traded this morning. My bear. There we are, 8 plus. They're trying to push it, and right away they stuffed it. You can see they, they're they selling over here. Right away, some sweep indicator, printing the dots. So when we have a push, and right away, a fast move, you will see the, that sweep indicator. So now let's wait. This morning I traded exactly this area over here. I posted before my trades two times. I shorted around 8.10 and 8.30 the second time. Then I took the, the partial covers into 7.80. Now you can see that Zayland is how it works, right? We held it over here and then push in. Also, traders, if you see other extension plays, please alert. So I'm looking again for 8.20, 8.30, to short, short on stuff. And this is the previous level of before. And I, what I'm looking also over here, you can spot my level 8.30, right? This level over here of high liquidity, which is this area. And then we have a little bit more 8.40, where was the previous high, 8.40 over here. So I'm using basically my levels on the chart together with the levels over here on Bookmap. Hope that makes sense. I started short over here, 820. So I took the top tick, 820 over here, got the short, but only a, a nibble, okay? I didn't load the boat over here yet. can see they're trying to push it over here volume above a half a million I will show my execution once done but you can see trader this is high volatile over here big sweep so push down over here to the 785 so I'm covering over here partial So oh, looking for the first covers over here in the 770. And why I'm saying that? Because I've seen a fast move over here right away, slam dunk. Okay. So you can see over here how they sold it. Look on the times and sales, right? You can look over here on the times and sales, use amount of sellers. And perfect trade over here. So we're looking for that fail.
Now, I don't see any kind of big buyer over here. Should fail more to the J-Line, the 760. Again, I didn't fully load it. Below seven, uh, sorry, below 770, yes. Now look, traders over here, main support around 760, okay? So this is the first real main target. Uh, we trap longs, I mean, not personally we, I mean, it's, um, it's figurative over here. Main area of, uh, I would say, selling pressure. Second main area of selling pressure. But you can see that over here, uh, we had a push to 840. And then over here, a lower volume, a push over here only to 820. So possible over here, dump and boom, washed to 750 and ideally 730. So looking for that price formation, look over here, the tape, 766, 770 are just selling, 4,000, 4,000, 5,000. There we are, J lines over here, 760. I want to see a breakdown 760, and then I want to see a 720 and then a 7, all right? So remember, this is not the easiest stock in the world to trade. It's not the easiest. We are over here just below the open level. Why is it not easiest? Because, for example, we have a lot of volatility. Uh, we have a lot of spikes, micro float. So if you want to short this stuff, you have to be very careful. So I trade big caps, crypto, futures, and small caps, but I like this stock because yesterday had a lot of volume. And when I see rains, there's a lot of possibility to make a lot of money. So that's the reason why I'm trading INDO, right? If I want to see something more simple, I just look at, for example, right here on Tesla. And I start looking for those patterns over here you can see this uh, red line start looking when it fades like this you look to short the pops and then you use bookmap as your confirmation so when you have a pullback you start looking over here for a bear flag and then you're looking for that short okay hope makes sense Some support over here at the 795. You can see they're stacking the support. 795, 790, 785. So we have some dip buyers. Looking at the stock, this is an important support. As we said before, this uh, 790, 795. And looking at the stock over here, we have that possible, we have a possibility over here for breakdown. Uh, we have to look for this 790 breakdown for more unwind. Looking at my position, INDO, 
I covered over here partial. I'm still waiting. This is what did yesterday. So you can see how big of the move this was. Went from something like 480, 470 until 9 and then double top over here and then faded. This is using the one minute chart. So you can see as time goes the spikes, these levels over here, you see these bands, and then face down, pop. In this case, we didn't pop to 840, which was my favorite level to short, but it eventually came over here. Uh, three stocks I was looking today, INDO, OSDK, Tesla. I traded this morning OSDK. I traded a pop and fill the gate. I shared this in the, in the, in the room. And I took two points with the half size. INDO, possible breakdown coming over here. So look, this micro support, they form in this micro support. Somebody over here wants to get filled, but I don't see any kind of a big buyer. 765 goes away, wash to 750, 765, possible breakdown incoming. Fifty-five went. Now sixty-two. They're trying to dump over here more. You can see only sellers on the tape. In this case, when I say tape, means times and sales. And this day was a cool, was a cool chart. So I believe this was uh, a form of. Why well, don't see it anymore right now? Try to cancel this. Okay, so this I wanted to show you. So when this morning I was uh, trading this uh, with uh, a few traders in my room, I was looking for a fail, right? So I started to short over here. You can see that we don't have any more liquidity. Now, I didn't put over here today the dots because I don't want to focus much on that. I want to focus more on the levels, right? So every time I try to focus for you guys on something different. In this case, you see that each time we went to the VWAP, so this red line, we had over here wash and right away back up bounce. Wash, bounce, wash, bounce. Okay, so this is the sweep indicator that the other time we were looking with, uh, with Bruce. What I like over here, is that if you look below, we don't have any kind of main support, right? No support. Small over here, small over here, but then they they simply cancel, right? So they go away from the from the book. While over here we have seller, 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 more seller over here, it comes even becomes even bigger, more aggressive, more seller, more seller, more seller, right? So the first time we reject over here, it basically doesn't have a lot of resistance. But above, we have some wall of sellers between the 8 and the 8.35. Okay, so this is only 30 cents. And then we go exactly to push into this resistance at 8, at eight sorry. So basically what happens over here, we have a first seller over here. And then I believe that him cancels to jump in over here and wants to get filled. Limit order. And then you can see it moves down. And then we have other two sellers jumping in. All right. So these sellers are jumping in, or I believe one of these two over here probably canceled from here, got to here or to here. So they want to really get failed traders. And then the boom, there we are, 740. And that's the boom, and that's the boom. So now looking for the seven, there we are, boom, perfect, magic.
I'm not really looking to cover yet. We have no support. So for me, there's no point I'm covering this. Okay. No reason to cover INDO. We're going to look for INDO over here, five minutes, eight lines. In this case, we're looking for seven. You can see no support below. Nothing over here that, uh, you know, uh, is... Uh, is showing me any potential bounce. Seven twenty, big wash over here. I'm gonna take partial. There we are. I'm gonna take partial around six ninety or seven. Best traders today, another beautiful trade, which was QNGI. And uh, just saw it late. And I love this extension over here. These are pump and dumps with very low volume. You can see the volume over here was 270K, so nothing, right? Wow, it's totally different from something like INDO yesterday. That, for example, when I had this extension, had volume over here of 9, 900, 1 million. All right, so total different scenario. Now what you have to look for is can I still see over here any kind of buyers on INDO? So would it bounce? Okay, that's what you have to look at. And not really. I'm not really seeing any kind of bounce over here, any kind of buyers. I see more seller. You can see over here, everybody wants to get out. Now they're afraid. Now they're afraid. This morning they probably bought in over here because they thought it was going to do something like yesterday. Now, this is fade from the top, one buck per share. So that's a huge fail over here, huge fail over here. So 720, possible another rejection coming. You can see over here, they're, build, they're building some support, right? Some resistance. Look at this. And this is really what you have to look when you're looking to trail. Because very easy to, you know, you enter a trade, you short or you long, whatever. Let's say we long over here would have been the same thing. But then you have to be able to recognize if the trend is still going in your favor, if the trade is still working, if you're making lower highs, lower lows, or in this case, it's a short, of course, if this is continuing to the downside, you have to be super, super, super attentive in this. Okay? It's one of the most important things because a lot of traders think oh, it's only about, you know, the execution of entry. No. Uh, this is not really to... This is just to, to show you and to motivate you. I just want to show something over here, and there's a reason why I'm showing this. 
So this is a trader that I'm coaching. And he started over here the first two months, okay, then went to 40K. This is basically four months of work together, you can see from December, from October, sorry. And you can see his win rate is 46%, right? This is Jordan. So 46% is a not high win rate. But the fact that his average return, okay, on, gain, on uh, winners is much bigger than average return on loser, that's the reason why he is making money. So you don't need really to have a 90% win rate. Absolutely, you don't need that. You need only to have, in this case, a high, um, a high return, low risk ratio. Okay, so we're talking about R. Because in this case, the uh, trailing and the use of the stop loss makes a difference. Okay, so this I, I wanted to, uh, to explain you traders. This is super important when you trade, okay? Super important. I'm watching over here that now we don't have any more that resistance, but we have a very fluff support. Uh, when I'm looking for a fader, I'm looking for this 90 May, okay? It's just the normal 90 May. A lot of times you'll see this breeze to the upside, and then right away they slam down. So if I see the same scenario that we saw over here, you can see it's going down, it's popping right away, boom. Somebody's slamming over here, it's pushing down the bid, okay, selling over here. Then the same thing could happen right here. That means stay in, stay in, stay in. Go back and check Tesla in the meantime. So it's still holding that support. So this is Tesla. You see main support 795 and then we have 790. Let's check this on a five minute chart. Yeah, for now, even here, you can see a lot of sellers. So I want to use the same chart I'm using on INDO. So you do like this, right click, uh, chart settings, inherit chart settings from, okay? And then each time it happens, if you do that, we'll come up over here, the CVD. So just close it if you don't need it. I'm not, as I said, focusing today on the dots. I'm, still, I'm mostly focusing over here uh, purely on the price section and on the levels. So I want to check again Tesla on the one-minute chart. 
And we're going to look at a few things together. But as you know, my plan starts with the one minute chart. And then I refer to book map and to the five minutes are as confirmation. I'm going to take off this. I'm going to put it here inside bar. Because I want to show you something that it might be useful for you. Inside bar display. Yeah, we can make this uh, every color we want. We can make, for example, this uh, blue or pink, all right? Let's see if blue works. Our colors. Okay. <clears throat> We're having traders basically a volume divergence over here. Higher lows, higher high, sorry. Let's see. Actually, no, not volume divergence. No, not yet. So where, I'm want, where I want to trade over here, Tesla. These bear flags or J-lines pops. Nothing else. For now, is a lateral over here. There's consolidation. It's normal when you have these faders, you can see in the morning. Okay, just look at the easy stuff. Just look at this perfect j -line rejection. We're trying over here to hold this 800. You can see a lot of orders out over here. Seem like they're spoofing, right? First they come over here. So first they come over here. Then they move down here. Okay, so while the price is going down, orders over here are moving. Then this is pushing up and this is moving over here. Then in this case, this is coming down. He's not getting executed over here, it moves. So Look right now, we're talking about that the rejection 90 May is rejecting. I'm not scalping Tesla, okay? So I'm not really looking to trade these pop and fail over here. Again, a double bottom on triple bottom on this support. Let's check again, traders, INDO over here. So they're trying to hold that. 
can see before we had no buyers. And now look when a stock wants to reverse what they do. So our formula here is support. Support exactly into this main J line. And then over here again, over here, and over here, and over here, and over here. Okay, so in this case, you can see traders broke the 7.30 down over here to the 7.25. No buyers, right? What does it mean in a fader like this with no buyers that can easily fail? Now I'm looking only over here on the right. And the last big orders we had were, yeah, the majority were on selling, on the sell over here. Seven nineteen and the oh look what a wash over here seven eleven nice juicy wash Still on that support 720. I'm waiting over here. So I'm having my position, simply waiting. Seven twenty nine, a little bit of buyers. You can see over here. Look over here. They're curling, right? So they're putting some buying over here, and now came a seven twenty four, and then seven thirty around six thousand. Here. Yes. Yeah. So over here, look, traders, let's go to Tesla. Still on that support. Again, I'm uh, having over here a toss, but this is a broker that you cannot use for uh, small caps. I'm only using for charting over here. I'm looking the fail that we're having with Tesla. So finally, it's breaking that support 795.
point? Yes, sure. Yeah, uh, okay, let's look also DWAC. So I'm not looking to buy Tesla over here. Just a lot of patience, okay? We need to wait over here. Uh, DWAC. Let's see Facebook. Facebook, I'm whining as well. These days I'm trading mRNA and VAX. I mean, mRNA has a beautiful fader on the daily. This is the hourly chart, but you can see each time we go to the J lines, basically, how it feels, right? So it's one of those stocks that you can look simply to short these levels over here for a swing. So each pop, it's a pretty good swing over here on MRA. Let's go back to Tesla. So main support 795, holding over here. Bouncing. And until we don't get 807, I'm not looking to touch this. That's my main point right now. Starting to bounce. Again, you can see it's time. This, this small over here is curling, right? Just below that 800. So careful when you break the 800 because it can push. Am I long in over here? No, not really counter trend. So no edge really trading right now. We have to wait. No edge. Rejection from the 800. Again, down. So attacking that support over and over and over. This is something very nice on Tesla. The fact that we're having a multiple over here, we say, uh, scenarios, right? That we're attacking the support. And this is a main daily support. So if you're looking at trading Tesla, you can see that the last two weeks over here, we were lateral. Again, when we have this uh, environment of uh, basically possible war, okay, it's called a crisis, market always reacts bad, even if then there won't be a war. Why? Because market suffers the indecision, suffering the uncertainty. And uh, what happens? Generally, market tends to like fail, pull back to the downside. Therefore, the tech stocks are the ones that are starting to fall, uh, you know, uh, in the first place why because they're also the ones that when the market is trending strong the one that gave you best like um, um range okay and uh market gen generally tends to increase the price of oil because you know the exportations uh, for example right now there was a deal that came off with uh russia and germany also europe almost half europe gets oil and gas from uh, from russia 
So of course, it will be like an increase of the price of oil. And what that means, crude oil will go up, investors will buy ETF on oil, and then the market generally tends to go down when we have this kind of scenario. Now, right now we have something, I would say, not totally new because still Bitcoin was, you know, since 2010 over here, we could trade it. Uh, but we have to see if Bitcoin will follow as they're doing right now, the tech stocks. Tech stocks are falling, Bitcoin is falling. And we saw this more than once, all right? So there are also other, I would say, factors that influence the price of Bitcoin. And I explained this, I made a video about it. So go watch it, it's free. Uh, but right now, let's go back to the market. Market is really trying to, sh uh, to show us over here a direction, but we still cannot say we have a direction. Just look at the S and Q the last one month and a half. Okay. Then the big caps, uh, if you take Tesla, Apple, Nvidia, uh, Bob, Amazon, Google, Facebook, you will see that they gave maybe two or three days up, like you can see over here. Then they are like fading, then up, then fading, then lateral, then fading. So it's not a market that I really love to trade unless I'm day trading, unless I'm scalping. All right. Yes, they were the big downtrend, but it's still not a bearish market. Why? Because on the long term, we are still having this push. And even in the past, we have some pullback into this area over here. So into the J line one, J line two, same over here. Okay. So if we break 790, then we can have a really big unwind to the 700 on Tesla. But this will depend from uh, many factors. Of course, the index will be in premise, the leading guide if you trade tech stocks, right? So hope that traders is clear for everybody. So what to do in this market? I'm shorting or longing small caps. And you'll tell me, Jay, how to do it. Okay, first of all, do a forecast in the morning, make your analysis, uh, back test journal, takes a lot of time. And uh, this is something like INDO, all right? So we see over here that yesterday I was looking to short this and I took uh, uh, a small cut over here in the morning. And then over here, we had this curl for a big push. You can see over here, big push, then a stuff. And then this is an A plus setup too long. This is an A plus setup. So, so you don't really need to buy over here and then sell at this top, okay? It's impossible. I will never buy over here and hold and sell at the top. You see, who tells you this? Uh, doesn't know really what he's doing. Or it's just like, you know, uh, smoke. You want to buy over here once we have the fake breakdown. And right away over here, you can see this push break the previous high. And then you can start selling in partial. So what I do is trailing, selling in partial. When we are up here, I raise my trail. When we are up here, I raise my trail. When we are up here, I raise my trail. And eventually when we fail, I'm getting out. So you'll never get, you know, the perfect top. Maybe... If you have a pivot, if you have a previous resistance, you will take a partial, but not you will buy entirely over here and you will sell over here. But it, that doesn't really, uh, that is not really important. You invest over here something like 6,000 bucks and this goes up to eight. If you already make an average over here and you sell at seven, that's 1,000 bucks, all right? So with 6,000 investment, it's not a bad return on something like this. What is around 18%, something like that. And then you can see over here that you can still buy these dips, but each time we have over here, lower highs, lower lows. So this is like a wedge. When you have a wedge, be careful because you can have or a fast push or right away a fast breakdown. And then what they do over here, this is the first, we we'll say mid shelf over here, breakdown where they sell over here, partials. And then over here, short seller jump in and then they push it back up. And over here, they trap a little bit more until like they're satisfied. And you can see over here, we, goes up, we go up again, we go test this previous high, and then boom, rejection. This over here is the best setup that you can do if you want a long, all right? But then you can have even uh, others over here. And today, for example, we had the same stock, but I simply nailed the short and, and killed it today. Shorting this level, 
but I took only the majority till here and then in the money. And then I reshort over here, uh, unfortunately not full size, but I still took a decent profit, decent profit, and then I'm looking for a possible one hill here. So a stock like this will give you a ton of, uh, a ton of, I would say, return if you can trade it good. The other one that we had this morning was OSO STK. So we have earning, but the earnings were not good. Um, so now I show you how the market works, right? So let's put over here this. So they basically did this, traders. Look, uh, the company had over here a, a strategic T0 investment. So it's a strategic collaboration, whatever. But we had something like an earning miss. Why? Because the active, active customers fell 12% in the fourth quarter and the orders were down 25%. Okay, so despite this, despite this, OSTK went up. And this morning, my plan I shared on YouTube before starting, I said, I'm looking to short this area. I got filled 48 and something with few guys covered over here. And then I didn't trade this anymore. And then over here, if you want to really trade this easy, you short it over here. Um, so this is OSTK. In this case, you can say, wow, Jay, they made a, a collaboration, strategic agreement, whatever. It's a beautiful news for the company. Okay, you have to think that it already absorbed over here in the gap. So it already went from uh, 40 until 50. It's a more than $1 billion company. We're not talking about small float. And uh, this is already a lot. Went up 20% over here or more, okay? And then I do one thing that I suggest to do. So. When you join to, uh, to the room over here, but soon this will be available for everybody on the subscription. For now, it's free. I'm going to check over here the stats. Okay, so these are the stats. This, uh, this app is called Beta S2 Trade. S2 Trade is called, it's a better version. Uh, team is uploading over here, I would say, uh, some stuff today, so it's not really uploading. But I can tell you that I saw this morning gap stats, OSTK, when we have a gap above 20% and at least 5 million volume trade on the day. Right now it's 22 million. Okay, so gap up, 20% at least of gap. 5 million volume at least trade on the day. We had two times this in the last two years and we had two times this faded and closed below the open. What is doing right now? Morning push closing below the open because these news over here so strategic collaboration partnership are basically fluff okay are basically you know sell the new scenarios program and you don't want to long and hold something like this make sense traders just you know put a yes if it's clear or not okay thank you taro I think it's maybe only clear for you. <laughs> okay, Gondola, thank you, buddy. Okay. It's very important to understand how the market moves. The price action, the, we say the big hands, the whales, okay? This is really the stuff that you need to learn. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, buddy. Let's go back over here to Tesla. Still holding that support. Actually, sorry, we're below that support, but the daily chart, over here we can put this as a daily chart. The low of this is around 791. So 
Let's move this to 791. There we are. Okay, that's the main support. Just selling over here, selling, selling, selling. Seven ninety one, so we are at that main level. Gonna wind over here on Tesla. I'm still short over here on INDO. We need to break this low. Average is 808 uh, and another broker 811. So this setup over here, traders, that I'm watching is still telling me to go for a short, still holding for a short, ideally to recycle. In order for me to recycle, I want to see a pop exactly into this area over here and then unwind. All right. no movement over here let's see back again OSTK which has a little bit of resistance but again we are not at that level before we had a general rejection at 1055 oh yeah exactly into this area over here this area over here exactly here 5550 I believe it's this over here 45 no this over here so this level pretty very really good pop into the J lines heat them above and see over here price goes to a resistance then they build more resistance right you start seeing the lower high is this area over here and I want to short each time 
that I have this blue area for an easy short setup. You know, I don't have this level. I'm not looking to short it. Let's look over here. Again, at INDO. Breakdown coming on INDO. Check this curl down over here. Looking for covers into the 670, 660, this area over here. A nice juicy unwind. So you can see two things over here the same. I'm going to explain over here. So we have INDO, right? And just look when the red line goes below, and the same thing for the long side, right? The red line over here goes below, this is uh, INDO, goes below the, the aqua one, and over here you have the same, right? Same exact thing, you can see over here. Goes down and then you have the pop. So basically two same setups right now. Six, nine over here, INDO, beautiful. This is unwinding good. Just stay in right now. I want a good, want to get that fader. I want to get that fader. Okay, Twitter. So we have the last uh, few minutes together. Uh, any questions? First of all, something you want to see, uh, you want to go over with? Every morning you can follow us on uh, YouTube where I share a book map over here um, in, in the trades, the pre market plan. And then every Wednesday we are over here with in this case today Sam, other times with uh, Bruce. And each time we check something different. This today we cover more, for example, this small cap INDO. Uh, previous weeks we cover more Facebook and other big caps. It really depends what the market offers us.
90. Again, no buyers over here. Look at that tape. Let's review the last stocks. So Facebook breaking the support as well. We have another support at 199, 200, and then more fader. We call the 200 over here like weeks ago. And uh, if you follow us, OSTK, the five minutes aliens we feel we're gonna go at 40. Let's see, Apple, next target 162. Nvidia, one of the stocks that I always trade. Support at 230 and then support at 225. So we still have some possible unwind over here. Oh, let's see Netflix. Netflix at the lows 372, 373. All right, Twitter. So I think we covered some good stuff. Uh, Sam, are you still here, buddy? Any questions? Sara, Gondola, Dom, anybody else? Hello, Joseph. Uh, you hear me okay? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, yes, I have a question for you. Um, I liked your okay. trade management description. Thank you. That, that was great. Um, maybe you could expand a little bit on that. Um, how, how do you kind of manage a trade, babysit a trade once you're in? When do you decide to scale out? Uh, uh, are you always looking for a specific R? Uh, do you use trailing stops? Um, yeah. Good question. So, uh, trailing is what, first of all, gives me, uh, I would say, uh, an account with a low uh, win rate, but I still become profitable through trailing because trailing increases my R return. So, whenever I start trading, I first of all find uh, my targets and my stop loss area. Uh, what I mean by that, let's say that today we traded. I don't know, let's put a one minute chart. Let's say that we, today we traded Apple. Before I even take the trade, I calculate, it has to be sometimes so quick, really a, a glance, I calculate my risk reward ratio. So uh, different setup, of course, different risk management. In this case, let's say I'm looking for a short, so I will be looking for a trend line break. This is gonna be my R, okay? So to calculate your risk reward ratio, what do you have to do? This area till this area, which is my stop, is calculated in one hour. This one hour could be two bucks, one box, 50 cents, whatever. So when I go down, if I know that my win rate, let's say is 45%, um, I'm gonna look for at least two R, maybe even three R of return, if I wanna be like highly positive, uh, positive and highly profitable. So in that case, I start looking, okay, where is the possible three R? Now I'm just like doing by, you know, looking, looking over here with eyes. This would be like 250. This maybe is like three R return. So I know that ideally my average of return has to be this one. So I don't have to enter and scaling out, scaling out, scaling out. So by the time I get over here, my R return is only one R. Okay. So that's the first important thing, calculating the R's. Then you have to look how to trail. So for this, you need order flow so as we were doing before you're still looking on the book map uh, traders if you see over here in times and sales sellers so if you see red or if you see green for example and uh, how many big support i see below and once we get those supports are we really bouncing or we still find the huge amount of sellers that want to dump and make the stock unwind and then each time i form a lower high I start putting my trailing. So when I break one, I can trail partial, and then I can hold uh, the remaining with the Jalen's over here because it's still going down. It's 
based on my back testing or my journal, my tracking, this is a very good tool to use. Okay, so different scenarios, different patterns, of course, different ways to trail. But that's like for today, I believe the the trailing method that I'm using on uh, for the majority on the on the big caps when I trade them. Makes sense, uh, Sam? Yeah, no, thank you. That that's great. It's good to see how how you kind of calculate it in terms of R, because uh, I think babysitting the position is one of the hardest things, really. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of people focus on the entry, but kind of maximizing your return and staying in the position is the tricky part. Exactly. Because even often, what happens? Maybe I take two or three trades only a nibble, only a feeler, and maybe those two, three trades are not going to work, so I'm gonna stop them. Then when I start seeing that it's something is working and I have possibility, for example, to load the bolt, to add to my position, to trade around the core, those are the trades that will give me you know, the, the paycheck. And maybe these trades will be generally 20, 30% of the entire amount of stocks that I trade or whatever that I trade. So traders, don't you know, enter in a position, maybe it's wrong, and you start adding, 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 you know, maybe downsize, cut it, then you can re-enter. If you take even one, two, three cuts, and then maybe you have one that really works, don't worry, you will get paid. Yeah, no, and, and it really makes the point that it's it's actually very challenging to trade with one lot if you're a futures trader or just one one contract. It's, yeah. it's hard to scale out. It's, it almost becomes impossible. You've got to get the, the correct yeah. position. You have basically to pinpoint and you know it's almost impossible because uh, to have the best, I would say, risk reward ratio, because you have to basically you know get out at least at the first main target. But then you could have a second, a third, a fourth. Nobody knows, you know, how much, for example, can unwind if you're short or run if you're long. So that's the reason why I, in that case, I would suggest maybe trading micro contracts, maybe like ten or twenty or even whatever you want. But at least you can scale out instead of trading, you know, only one uh, future contract. At least you have to trade two contracts for the futures, at least. Yep. No, awesome. That's great. Thank you. All right. So thank you, Sam, for being a, a great host over here. Uh, thank you, everybody. Taru, Gondola, uh, Don, Barboza, Ryan, OG, Eighth, Sam, Jimmy. Thank you, everybody. If you need help, reach out to me, Bruce, or Sam. We are here to help you. Uh, hopefully you learned something today that you can reuse in the next days and study it. Thank you very much, traders, and see you next week. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Joseph. Take care.